because they're so small, they'll just, they'll just go right on through the machine. Dale Smith looks at his pitiful corn crop, obviously upset. Dale, his father Hugh, and his son Clint, three generations of farmers, are facing one of their worst yields in decades due to one of the worst droughts in decades. I would compare this uh, right behind 1980 at this point, if not equal to. On a scale of 1 to 10, this is definitely a 10 as far as severity of drought. Kyle Meyer, the director of the Johnson County, Missouri Farm Service Agency, sees farmers in this situation every day. People like Hugh, Dale, and Clint Smith are not uncommon. Could be very serious if we don't get something coming pretty quick. They compare an average ear of corn with one from a water-deprived field. And this isn't a good ear. This is a very average ear, but for this year, <laughs> we stickled. Even the average ear may not get full value. And the quality's down, they start docking us. And the dock is, the lighter the test weight, the more dock we get per bushel. While corn yields are affecting farmers now, the price of grain-fed beef may affect you soon. When you see grain prices nearly double what they historically have been, that definitely is going to have an impact. The Smith family farmers don't even know how they'll feed their livestock this year. Our cattle for us aren't worth as much because everybody's having to pay the high price to feed them and it's yeah. hard to hard to work that out. The light at the end of the tunnel? Next year will be better. That's what we all work off of.